In this video, I'm gonna be explaining opportunities inside of Salesforce. I'm gonna be explaining what they are, how they work, how to use the pipeline, and also how to close your opportunities as hopefully won or unfortunately lost as the case may be. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into the video, if you need any further training help with Salesforce, please check out our website below. We provide bespoke CRM training for businesses around the world. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into Salesforce, you are going to come to the home screen. Now, of course, in this video, we're discussing opportunities. So let's go to the top here and head over to our opportunities area. Now, firstly, you may be wondering what exactly are opportunities? Now, opportunities inside of Salesforce is the selling area, the main sales hub inside of your system. This is where we're gonna manage our sales, we're gonna manage each stage of our sales process, and then we can hopefully close our sale as one, or as the case may be, close it as lost if we do not make the sale. Now, you may be wondering what's the difference between leads and opportunities. Leads is the very, very, very beginning of any sale. Um, and I've done a video on that. So please check that out if you're unsure. The opportunities area is really the main selling area of the system. OK, so as you can see, I've got a few example opportunities here and they've already been added. In case you're not familiar with opportunities, you can change the view and this applies for anywhere inside of the Salesforce system. So this is all my opportunities. And we've got a few different fields here or columns. We've got the amount, so what is the value of the opportunity, the date that is anticipated to be closed. We've got the different stages, which I'll walk you through later on in this video. The probability, which is direct, directly associated with the stage. And we've got the type, so whether it's existing or new business and the lead source as well. So where did this particular sale come from or where, where was the lead uh, that got us to this point? Where did it originate from? OK, so like I said, the opportunities is where we manage all of our sales. Now, obviously, you want to be managing your sales. So what we need to do is create a new opportunity by pressing the new button in the right hand corner here. And this is where we can go ahead and fill out some information. Now, you may not need to do this if you are converting a lead to an opportunity. OK, but if you are just going straight to the opportunities area, which is absolutely acceptable, there's no reason why you can't do that, especially if it's repeat business, then this is what we would do. We just create a new opportunity. We give it a name. So I'm just going to call this CRM crew. And then you may, if you'd like to uh, add some additional information, so maybe the product that you're selling, for example, I'm just going to call this CRM crew example for the video. And then we need to associate an account with the opportunity. So I've already added CRM crew as an account to Salesforce. So we'll just make that association. And then on the right hand side, we need to add a close date. So when do we anticipate this opportunity being closed, whether it be won or lost? Hopefully it will be won, of course. But when do you anticipate it being finalized? So maybe we could say the end of March, for example. So Thursday the 31st is, this is always going to be a rough estimate and you can always change this date as and when, but it's just useful to track that anyway. And then we've got type, so is it existing or new business? So let's say as we're going straight to the opportunities area, this is existing business. And then we've got the stage field and this falls straight into our sales process. Now do bear in mind, this may be very different for you as your business may have customized Salesforce to meet this precise sales process that your business follows and no two businesses are ever gonna be the same. So just ensure that you are starting on the main stage or the first stage of that sales process. Then you've got any campaign source. So if this has got any relation to a campaign, then you can uh, associate the opportunity with the campaign if you'd like. Um, you can confirm the budget by just ticking the box, discovery completed and ROI analysis. These are all different stages and you may not be at any of these yet. So it's entirely up to you if you do or do not want to tick those. And then we can select the amount. So let's say we know that our example product is 10,000. Then we just put that information in. Um, and that should give us an estimate on the value of that opportunity. And of course, that could fluctuate, but that just gives, again, a rough guide like the close date. You've also got additional information down here that you can add next steps, description and a lead source as well. So maybe I know that they came from a trade show or Google ads, for example. Let's just put that. 
we it's obviously really important to track that information um, the more data you do collect so it, the, the more useful it's going to be in the long run and maybe over time we come to realize that all the uh, opportunities that come from google ads never actually turn into sales so you could start tracking those patterns or maybe they have a much higher conversion rate than facebook ads or from linkedin ads you, this is the sort of data that you're going to begin to track okay so we've created our new opportunity which is of course our new sale press the save button and then this will now load up this is where we can track our sale all the way from the very beginning to like i said earlier in this video hopefully at the very end and we can close this sale as one so just before we get into the sales stages, I'm just going to talk you through a few bits and bobs down here. So we've got close date and description and we can tick budget confirmed, things like that. And those will be uh, fields related to different stages as well. And then we've got activity so we can log a phone call, a new task, a new event. And if you've got your email connected, you can uh, log emails as well associated with this particular opportunity so maybe you've got an event or you need to create a task to ensure that you do something for that opportunity you can very very easily do that and then moving on from the activities area we've got chatter so this is kind of like an internal how you, i could describe it as maybe like a slack channel and you just post information about this particular um, opportunity and other people that look at the opportunity can see that information and post on it and share and you can kind of interact with one another and converse, make conversation relating to that opportunity. So that's very useful. And then finally, we've got details and this is the key information that you entered at the start of the opportunity or when you were creating the opportunity. This is obviously the information that you're going to want to be tracking and if you need to find any of it, it will be in the details area. So now you're familiar with the basics of opportunities. Hopefully you know what all of that looks like anyway. You're familiar with Salesforce. Now let's go ahead and start managing our sale. So we start on um, stage one and it's qualification. Now, like I said, this is going to vary for any business and each stage is going to be different. So take this as a very general explanation. But we start on the first stage and then we're going to want to move to stage two, provided things are heading in the right direction. So once you move from one stage to another, you just need to mark it as current stage. And then you can go away. You can come back a week later and maybe update after the analysis has uh, been completed or whatever that particular stage may be for your business. And then again, you'll come back again and then you'd submit the proposal as this is the stage for our process here. And then you just mark that stage as completed. And hopefully you continue to move through. So you send over their proposal and then they might negotiate a little bit and say, oh, well, we don't want to pay 10,000. Let's pay 9,000. And then that negotiation will ensue. Hopefully you'll complete the negotiations successfully or maybe the negotiations are ongoing. So you just mark that stage as in or mark that opportunity as in negotiation. And then hopefully the negotiations are successful and we can get to the close stage. And this is where we are finalizing our sale. Hopefully it's been won or unfortunately it's been lost. And this is where we can select those two options. Now at any point you can just skip ahead to the closed area. So you may be on the needs analysis stage and then you can jump straight to the closed one or closed lost. Often you're probably gonna be jumping to the closed lost if you're at the very, very beginning stages. Um, otherwise, you would walk the sale all the way through the different stages. So if you get to needs analysis, realize they're not interested, you just close loss the opportunity. OK, but let's say we've got to negotiation. They're happy with our negotiations and we go to closed. And then what we need to do is press the select closed stage. OK, so we press that button. Then we've got option drop down menu here. We can select it as close one, which is what we want to be doing or close lost if it didn't go our way. So we'll select close one in this instance and then once we do that, press the save button. It's good news. We've stayed, the stage changed successfully and now that opportunity has been closed as one. We get a nice little message here. Great work. You've closed a successful deal. We can now go back to our opportunities area and you'll be able to see that that stage has been updated. You can see the close date and all the relevant information. And of course, you're able to manage all of your opportunities from here. One additional thing I do want to show you is the Kanban view, or there are a couple of views that is worth showing you. So views just allow you to see the uh, opportunities in a different way. So if you go to the table looking view here, use the drop down menu. We have the Kanban view and the split view. Now, I am a massive, massive fan of the Kanban view. 
This is each of your opportunities and it's really, really easy. So you can see this is one we've been dealing with. You can just drag it and move it to the different stages. It makes it so, so, so much easier to manage all of your opportunities as you can do it all from the same place as opposed to having to click into each individual record and update the information. So it's literally just a case of dragging and dropping. One additional cool feature with the Kanban view is you can have it on a big TV inside of the, your sales department uh, as part of the office and you can see the stages moving across, especially if you've got lots and lots of deals going at the same time. So that's always really, really interesting. And then the final view I wanna show you is the split view. And you can see here, we'll have all of our opportunities on the left-hand side, and then we can just click onto them. Again, this just makes it a bit easier to manage as opposed to having to open them up uh, individually, and you can move the stages according to the stage that they are at as they move through the sales process. So hopefully you are now familiar with opportunities inside of your Salesforce system. Hopefully this video has been of use to you and you can now go ahead and start managing all of your opportunities very, very easily, hopefully closing them all as one. Um, I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now all set to start using the opportunities inside of Salesforce, managing each of your sales and hopefully winning as many of those sales as possible. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.